You never know when the storm is going to hit, so you better make sure your house is protected. Always check your weather stripping. What is weather stripping, you might ask? It's like rain! No, you idiot. This is weather stripping. All right, it's time for ping pong paddle number seven. So I've got another paddle blank here. And this one, you guessed it, weather stripping. So this is some weather stripping I found at Lidl for like three bucks for the whole package. Um, it's pretty cool. It actually comes in a, uh, a roll and it's actually got, uh, you're supposed to like split the, the roll so that, you know, there's, there's two uh, total reels in this. But uh, for this case, I'm just going to leave it, oh, it's pinned in there, ugh, and get that before that goes in my finger. Um, I'm going to leave the two separate things, two pieces of tape attached and uh, actually attach it that way. The cool part about this is it's a little bit rubbery, a um, little bit stretchy, a little squishy, um, but it's already got the adhesive on it, so I don't actually have to do any adhesive to stick it to the paddle. And it's got kind of this w shape uh, texture to it. Um, so I think that'll be really cool, and I think on one side of the paddle I'll have it going horizontal, and one side I'll do it vertical. Um, then I was thinking about what to do for the handle, and I saw that I had this piece of uh, kind of molding or trim piece that actually has almost that same exact profile on it. So I think that'll make a cool handle. The only downside to that is it's this is only an inch wide and the handles are about an inch and a quarter. Um, so I will have to cut the handle down a little bit and kind of redo this curve. Uh, but I could do that on the bandsaw, so that's pretty easy. So now we just need to cut out some handles. to test out the weather strip paddle. It's definitely quiet. Does alright on spin. Basically it makes no noise. It's really soft. Whoa. Definitely you can get some good spin out of it. I mean, it, it definitely grips, definitely grips. That's for sure, especially if you hit the, uh, the 
the vertical side coming across that grain, that definitely grips. This side, a little bit less. Definitely kind of weird with the tiny bit of sound, but it's it does all right. Ooh, I don't know if that hit. Did it hit? You tell me. Leave it in the comments below. Did it hit? So I'm happy with how this came out. Uh, the, the weather stripping feels really cool. Uh, it makes a nice soft sound when you hit the ping pong ball. Um, I really like how the handle looks, especially on this side with the vertical weather strip pattern. In retrospect, I should have cut up this handle and turned it all so that it was that horizontal pattern the same way. Um, I also probably should have waited until the paint fully dried, but that paint was terrible. Uh, it was just like it put out the biggest cloud of paint, yet it seemed like you couldn't hardly get it to stick to uh, what you were spraying. And then you would finally get it to spray somewhere and it would just be like gobbed up and just nasty. Um, so I, I'm getting rid of that can. Uh, anyway, I think the weather stripping turned out great. I wonder what would happen if I put this down and then put like rubber over top of it just like a soft and just had this be like the uh, the sponge part uh, of the uh, the paddle. But anyway, for two three bucks doing this, uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I, I really like the, uh, the edging on the side. Uh, that turned out nice. I actually could see myself using the weather stripping on the edging of some other paddles because uh, it's the kind of the perfect thickness for that. And it's already adhesive, so you don't have to worry about that part. Anyway, let me know if you can think of another home product that I should use for a ping pong paddle. I'd love to hear it. Leave it in the comments below. Anyway, see you next time.